Hi everyone. In today's DIY projects, we are crafting with Dollar Tree items. We'll be creating some beautiful home decor on a budget that you could use to decorate your home. For your shopping convenience, all the items used in today's DIY projects will be linked in the description box below. So do check them out and let's jump right into our first DIY project. For our first project, we're going to be using the small plastic spoons from the Dollar Tree. And this is the 24 packs. I'm working on a silicone surface, so I'm just placing my hot glue on the surface and I'm going to be making um, flower shapes. So for this set, I'm going to be using five spoons and I'm just joining them and overlapping them on the ends so they can look like a flower. Let me show you how to do a second one and then we'll move on. Just use your hot glue gun on the low temperature and this will hold in better while you're working. And I made 33 sets of those. Now we're going to be doing the same thing with the larger spoons. These come in 48 pieces. So we're going to be joining six pieces for this flower. And then I'm using my hot glue to seal them on the center. I made 11 of those. I'm also using a wire wreath from the Dollar Tree. And I'm placing my flowers going right around the two center pieces of the wire. And I used up all 11 pieces and we're going to flip our wall decor on the back and we'll just reinforce them. At this point you can use a strong adhesive if you'd like but I find that the hot glue hold them really well. I then took it outside and I spray painted it with my Rust-Oleum metallic copper. I'm also using a 9 inch mirror from the Dollar Tree. The frame is 9 inches and I'll be spray painting it with my white gloss. Now my wreath is dry. We're going to call this a wreath for now. Um, that's what it looks like before I add the mirror. I'm adding my silver spoons on top of the larger ones and I'm adding the silver spoons on every other spoon. I wanted to see how it would look just like this, but it looks mostly like Christmas decor. So if you'd love to make this for Christmas coming up, then you could go ahead and do so. But I'm going to take it outside and I'll just spray paint the entire thing black with my matte black spray paint. I'm also going to be using these small wooden beads and I'm just gluing them on a piece of paper so I can spray paint them and I'm using my white gloss spray paint by Rust-Oleum and I'm spray painting 33 pieces of those. Now my wall decor is dry, I'm just going to use my little wooden beads and I'll place one on the center of each of my flowers. I'm just using my tweezer to hold the beads and I'll use my hot glue to attach them to the center. If you like what you're seeing so far, please help to support my channel by giving me a thumbs up. I'll really appreciate that. Another way that you can support my channel is by leaving me a comment. It doesn't have to be an entire sentence, just one word is good enough. And also, please help me to share this video. Just share it with one contact in your phone. All right, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Now I'll flip my wall decor over and I place the mirror back inside of my frame. 
So now I'll go ahead and use my hot glue on the low temperature to attach my mirror to the inside of the wreath. And the space is going to be a little bit larger. It's not connected, but the hot glue will connect it together. After the hot glue, you can go ahead and use some stronger adhesive if you'd like. But it's a lightweight wall decor and we'll just hang it on the wall from the back here. And here's how this project turned out guys. I hope you like this one. Let's move on to our next project. For this project, we're also making a wall decoration and we're using the handles of the spoons, just the silver spoons. I'm just using my pliers to clip off the tips if they're not straight. And I'm just going to use five spoons to line them up in a staggered pattern with um, one on the center, then two on the sides, and then two more on the sides. Just make sure that the ones on the sides are touching at the tips. And for this, we're using our strong adhesive. Just place the strong adhesive on all the joints. We're also using two rectangular canvases and these are 11 by 14 inches and I'm just placing our pieces on the center part of the canvas. Just pay attention to how I'm placing them, okay? and place in the other canvas right next to it so it can look even when it's on the wall. Now that I have my placement, I'll go ahead and attach them with my strong adhesive. And here's how this project turned out guys. I hope you like this one. Now let's move on to our next project. For this project we're also using a mirror from the Dollar Tree. I'm removing the mirror and I'll be spray painting it white. I'm also using one of these plastic plates and I'll be spray painting it silver. And we're doing the same thing making the patterns with the handles of the spoon. And I'll replace my mirror. Now I'll go ahead and add my mirror on top of the plate. I'm going to be using a strong adhesive. I'm placing my strong adhesive right on the edge of my mirror. And then I'll place it on the plate. Just make sure that it's even going all the way around. Allow it to get tacky. Then I'm going to go ahead and add my spoon handles going right around that mirror. And the only part that's going to be holding these handles are the plastic plates. So I'm going to go right around with the spoon handles. Make sure that um, they fit nicely before I use my strong adhesive to attach them. Just 
just try to even the spaces on the plate and the tip of the spoon should almost be touching Now we're on to the last one. We're going to have a small gap, but just go around and even them out. And then you should left with just a tiny space in between the middle. Now I'll go ahead and add my strong adhesive on the underside. And I'm placing a good amount of my adhesive because this will be the only contact. And I'm placing a good amount in each of the grooves under the tips. Allow them to dry for about 8 hours before you do anything else. And then you can flip it. After you flip it, add some more strong adhesive to the joint of the plate and the spoons. And also where they're touching. I did it, but I forgot to add that part in the video. And then I'm going to be using a picture frame hook on the back. And I use my strong adhesive and my hot glue to attach the picture frame hook. And here's how this project turned out, guys. I hope you like this one. Now let's move on to our next project. This is a quick and easy project. All we're going to be using is this bowl from the Dollar Tree. It's a candy dish and I'm just pre-painting it black. And I'm going to be using my gold tape just to go around the bottom and the top of the bowl. I'm going to be adding these small flowers. You can get flowers from the Dollar Tree, but I got these from Amazon. And I'm just using this floral disc to add the flowers. I'm going to be adding 24 pieces of flowers. And here's how this project turned out, guys. I hope you like this one. Let me know which of these projects were your favorite this week and if you'll be recreating any of them. If you missed my previous video, here it is on the screen. Just click that rectangular box to watch. Please remember to give me a thumbs up before you leave and share this video with someone that you think may be interested. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. Take care and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye bye.